and help you reach your place of healthy, happy harmony so that you can live your free life. Almost. Hmm. There we go. Now we're back. Um, stay tuned because I have a special opportunity for you. So it is Wednesday. So you know what that means. Wednesday's Wellness Wisdom Pearl with Dr. Michelle Clay. So make sure that you share with your friends, share with your followers, share with your family members for those who are ready to take action. They've been looking for a change, but didn't have the keys to make it happen. So let us go ahead and begin. So today's wellness wisdom pearl is spring. Wellness wisdom of spring, how to renew your body and your mind in five easy steps. So yesterday was actually the official beginning of spring. And this is one of my favorite times of the year. We're starting to warm up. You're starting to hear the birds sing. And I just love it. But so you know, the significance of spring is this. Not just a change in the season, but spring also signals the beginning of renewal of resurrection. Animals, ideas, projects that have been um, hibernating, laying dormant. Now it is time to resurrect those things. Now it's time to refresh, renew, and revive, especially new projects, new ideas, and a new fresh perspective. And while we are having a new and fresh perspective, it is also important to have a fresh mindset and a fresh body to execute what you have in your mind and be able to put it into action. So when we're refreshing and we are renewing, then it is important to purify. Now, a lot of people like to say cleanse and detox is all the same thing, so to speak. But I like to use the terminology of purify as in a purification process. Now, what do we need to purify? Some of us need to purify relationships. We may need to um, purify emotions. We may need to purify um, food, certain food, words actions, and definitely purify from the toxicity of stress. So five ways that we do that. Number one, reevaluate. Many of us may be in a position where we need to reevaluate our circle, our circumstances. There are, and relationships, reevaluate some relationships. There are some things that just have an expiration date, just like milk. Whenever you go to the store, especially if you get an item that is prepackaged, even if it's canned, there is still an expiration date. So there are some relationships that we need to let go. I forgot to put that up there. There are some relationships that we need to let it go, all right? You need to evaluate and reevaluate what is going on around you, who is in your circle. And when you do that, then you must ask yourself three important questions during this time of reevaluating. And that is, number one, is it empowering? Number two, is it encouraging? And number three, is it stimulating? Is it stimulating your mind to shift? Is it stimulating you into action? Is it stimulating you into a higher level of consciousness, of being, of awareness? So reevaluate. Number two, 
refresh your mind. And to refresh your mind, there's a couple of strategies that you can put in place for that. Technology. Look, technology is wonderful. It can help us. I'm using two devices right now so I can simultaneously live stream on Facebook and live stream on Instagram. So it's wonderful. But what is important when you refresh your mind is set a schedule. Sometimes we aimlessly scroll through social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm not a Snapchat person. You may um, scroll through on LinkedIn. And the next thing you know, so much time has gone by and what have you accomplished? So in order to refresh your mind, sometimes you need to give it a break from constant stimulation that is not pushing you to a higher level, a higher way of being. So set a schedule for your technology, your social media, things like that. Also limit the amount of news that you take in. And I mean news as far as like CNN, MSNBC, your local um, programs, that type of thing, because we can get overwhelmed. There's hardly anything on there that is inspiring, that's motivating, that's healing to your, your psyche, healing to your um, soul. So Sometimes fake news can be frightening. So if you're going to refresh your mind, then you must put limits on this. Now, I saw this in action, actually the opposite of this. Have you ever gone to some people's house and if they have cable, they have CNN or MSNBC going on all day long? I find that a lot in older people. They say, oh, I need to know what's going on. Well, once you see it for one hour, you know what's going on. <laughs> so number two, refresh your mind. Number three way to renew your body and your mind, the wellness wisdom of spring is feed your mind. Give your mind something to work with so that you can elevate and transcend your present circumstances, whether it is your living situation, whether it's your money situation, whether it is your health situation. So in feeding your mind, we're going to talk a little bit more about the physical aspect, taking foods that will help you accomplish that, such as blueberries, ginger. Ginger um, is a natural um, a way to increase blood flow to your brain. So it helps open up the vessels and, and increase blood flows, flow. So ginger and ginseng is another thing that can really get you going. Another thing that you can do that is really simple if you want to use for like a noontime snack, walnuts. Walnuts help increase mental clarity as well as increasing cognitive functioning. So feed your mind and definitely avoid excess sugar. Excess sugar is not a friend to your brain functioning, okay? Which leads me to point number four, which is cleanse your palate. There are many people who are suffering from either salt addiction or sugar addiction. Sugar addiction is a really, really big one. And a lot of times they go hand in hand because after you feel, um, take in the salty, then you want something sweet. After you take in sweet, you want to take in something salty. Now, it's at minimum 21 days to a turnaround, meaning 21 days um, before you can really begin the process of shaking a habit, shaking an addiction, especially those sugar cravings. So cleanse your palate. I know it may be challenging, but one thing that can really, really help you is if you have a partner. Accountability is everything. So when you are going to um, head for that carrot cake with the cream cheese frosting, 
Yeah, you know that one. <laughs> or for some people, it may be something as simple as Twizzlers or peanut M&Ms. Have an accountability partner that's like, mm -mm -mm. no, no, no. Now, my VIP clients, they have special access to me like all the time. So if they need to call me or text me like, Dr. Michelle, I'm going for the Reese's Pieces. I need intervention. Then I am there available to them to help talk them off the ledge. So number four, cleanse your palate. And number five, cleanse your body. Now we could spend at least 10 sessions on how to cleanse your body going through step-by-step, system-by-system. But I'm going to focus on one thing in particular, the liver and the kidneys. So one thing in particular that's good for both of those is dandelion. Whether you um, intake the leaves or the dandelion root, both of those you can, with the leaves, what you can do is you can juice it. Now, that's a little bit better. You might have to work with it, add a little bit more sweetener or combine it with some other greens, some nice lime or something like that. Voila, delicious. Or you can even um, wilt them, steam them, or chop them up raw and, and season them up real nice. Yes. The dandelion root is wonderful for a tea. So that really helps with your liver. That's a major area that you want to focus on when you're talk thinking about spring cleaning. Most of us think about spring cleaning for our homes, but you need to have spring cleaning for your mind and this body temple so you can be the best you can be, have the best, do the best, be the best. Now, the other thing about dandelion is it's a, has, it has diuretic properties, meaning it will make you urinate more, thus helping to cleanse out the kidneys, increase flushing and flush out more toxins. So for a quick recap, the five wellness wisdom pearls of spring, how to renew body and mind. Number one, reevaluate. Number two, refresh your mind. Number three, feed your mind. Number four, cleanse your palate. Cut those cravings. And number five, cleanse this body temple. Now, in my upcoming book, which I have offered to you right now as pre-order is Conquering the Chaos, the Super Wonder Woman's 12-step strategy for a stress-free life. And in there, I go step-by-step -step of all the systems in the body, their function, what happens with stress, and a culinary cure for each system that not only will help cleanse this body temple, but calm your mind and help you release stress. Now, for those of you over here on Facebook, you will see it on the screen and you can get your autograph copy, order it today, or um, autograph by me and enjoy free shipping for a limited time at www.stressfreelifebook.com www.stressfreelifebook.com. And for those of you who are like, that book is going to be very helpful, but I also need something tangible to help me on this process, then I want you to go over to um, my website, freelife7le.com forward slash products. And there I have release and renew detox tea. It has herbs in it that help cleanse the body temple, especially the intestinal tract, while also helping to calm your mind. There is a um, what they call a connection, the gut brain axis. So if your digestive health is poor, then your mental health and emotional health can be poor as well. So once again, release and renew detox tea.
on my website, freelife7le.com forward slash products for Release, Renew, Detox Tea, and my upcoming book. Now, the Release, Renew Tea is going to be here, but if you want an autographed copy with me, pre-order today at stressfreelifebook.com, at stressfreelifebook.com, at stressfreelifebook.com. So, the wellness wisdom of spring, renew your body and your mind. They go hand in hand. And so with these tools that I've given you, it can help you begin the process of walking and stepping into the next best version of yourself free of stress. So until next time, once again, I am Dr. Michelle Clay. I am speaker, Amazon number one best-selling author, doctor of osteopathic medicine, and certified holistic health counselor and clinical nutritionist, making me your holistic physician who specializes in the release of stress simply and naturally, especially for the overwhelmed, overachiever, the high-strung, high-stress high performer through my coaching programs, blogs, and live streams, just like this one. I help you reach your place of healthy, happy harmony that you've been waiting for, that you deserve, so that you can live your free life on purpose and with passion. Until next time, I want you to be well. I want you to do something well for yourself. Renew your body and mind. Take care.